So here we are, the start of the Big Ten season already up on us like this. Indiana opening up this year, the Big Ten schedule. And kind of like last week, a competitive first quarter. Buckeyes miss a field goal. Hoosiers get a field goal. Also a touchdown run from Justin Fields after a big uh, a quarter dominated by J.K. Dobbins. 20 carries in the first half from Dobbins today. A bunch of those in the first quarter. He pretty much drives them down the field. They try to throw him a pass for the touchdown. Hits him right in the hands. Just gifting him a touchdown. They were going to reward him for the big drive running the ball. You know, just chunking it 10 yards at a time, basically. The old 10 yards in a cloud of dust. J.K. Dobbins style now. And then, uh, so then, then, you know, just to rub salt in the wounds, Justin Fields runs it in a play later for the touchdown. Buckeyes go up 7 nothing at that point. Like I said, the Hoosiers got a field goal 7-3. to And then starting early in the second quarter, touchdown to Alave. Alave blocks a punt, goes out of the end zone for a safety. 16-3 to at this point. Then uh, Fields to J.K. Hill. K.J. Hill, he had a bit of a quiet day, but he did get the touchdown there. Another touchdown run from Dobbins. He was racking up the yards and stats in the first half. Indiana did get a nice touchdown at the end of the first half. The old wide receiver pass. They drop back. They throw it over to the wide receiver at the, uh, at the, uh, behind, the behind the line of scrimmage over at the sidelines. Boom, hits the guy wide open downfield. 30 to 10 at the half, and if it wasn't over at that point already, then J.K. Dobbins again, couple more runs, catches a touchdown pass this time, a nice catch, and right there in the corner of the end zone, 37-10, pretty much ball game over, pretty much day over for J.K. right there, 22 carries, 193 yards, and the touchdown catching, rushing touchdown also, you know, Heisman alert, Heisman alert, J.K., you know, look, 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 look like he's going to coast to 1,500 yards this year. You know, if he has it, if he doesn't have any games where he struggles, he's, he potentially could push a 2,000-yard season out of J.K. But you know, let's not fast forward too far. Biggest play of the day, though. The game was already over at that point. Master Teague also chipped in a touchdown. Also, first 100-yard day of his career. Master Teague chipping in 10 carries, 106 yards, 30-yard touchdown. Then Damon Arnett picks one off, takes it all the way back to the house, 96-yard touchdown. 51 to 10 at the end of the third quarter there. That was it for the scoring on the day. Rest of the day was pretty much just Gus Johnson solidifying the Buckeyes as the Big Ten champion, running the table according to Gus Johnson. Well, he did that. I mean, they, they are looking pretty good. You know, it's just been Florida Atlantic, Cincinnati, Indiana. But teams that you're heavily favored and you should pound, they're coming out and pounding them, you know? That's what we got to look forward to, hopefully. So, Michigan, Wisconsin next week. <sighs> that'll start to that'll start to divide some teams in the Big Ten. See what's going on early. All right, so <clears throat> 199 yards passing, three more touchdowns from Justin Fields. Kind of a quiet day passing. A lot of running, a lot of runs today. Damn near 40 carries probably from the Buckeyes as a team. Felt like a bit of a throwback, but they threw it downfield a few times when needed. Seemed like Hill, Alave, Mac, Victor. All your token suspects had a catch on the day. 51-10, final score. Buckeyes over the Hoosier. Boom. See what's going on over here with Penn State. You know, they've been beating these cupcakes fucking 77-3. They get Pitt Panthers rolling into town. Coach Narduzzi getting it done. Or is he? 17-10. All right, guys. Boom. We're out of here. That's 17-10 Penn State. How about one more boom for Master Teague in a 100-yard day? How about that, Master Teague? Master Teague the third. Huh.